Georgia families are missing out on paychecks as an actor's strike approaches day 12. And tonight, stunt doubles who put their bodies on the line say this situation is becoming dire. Atlanta News First Abby Casuras is in Fayetteville with the daredevils behind the most explosive movie moments. When I say union, you say proud union, proud union, proud union. These members represent thousands of stunt artists in Georgia who are members of SAG-AFTRA. The union is negotiating a new contract with the studios, hoping for residual payments, wage increases, and protections against artificial intelligence. We should share in the successes of our employer, and they make billions with a B. It's stunts like this that can be risky. The AMPTP is opposed to us sharing the rewards of a successful show because we don't bear any of the risk. Excuse me? Hello. Tell that to my friend John, who lost his life working on one of your TV shows. Tell that to any of us in this room who have literally broken bones and bled for you. Not only are the stunt artists not bringing home a paycheck, but so are the businesses that rely on the film industry. Take covert camera vehicles, for instance. These trailers would normally be rented out. Janitorial services, catering companies, hotels, restaurants, Airbnbs. The economic impact will only get worse as negotiations drag on. Tom Smith with Emory University says it's hard to predict how much of the $4 billion the state brings in each year will be lost. We haven't had a strike like this in a while and Georgia wasn't the sort of Hollywood East that it is now. This crowd is hoping to get back to work. Mike Panuski, a member of the National Negotiating Committee for SAG-AFTRA, says he's hoping for a resolution soon. It's worth it. This is the contract I work to make my living. This is the contract that a lot of my friends work to make a living. We have to fix it and we have to fix it now. In Fayetteville, I'm Abby Casores.